All right, what's up? I'm Charm City 187. Uh, the NFL just released the Ravens 2013 schedule. Uh, I'll start off with the preseason games. I'm just going to say what I think we're going to do. Actually, I'm probably going to, at the end, I'm going to make a prediction on what our uh, record's going to be at the end of the season. Then I'll come back and see how close I was. But, man. I never pick them to lose, but. But, anyways, our preseason schedule is the Bucks on August the 8th, the Falcons, the Panthers, and the Rams. For some reason, it always seems like we play the Falcons in the preseason. I think this is like the third preseason in a row we've played them. But, yeah. Carolina, that's the third week game. I wish we were playing Atlanta in week three, but. Carolina's got a good offense, though, so they're going to test our defense. Our defense will be tested the first three games. Vincent Jackson and Freeman, Matt Ryan, Roddy White, Julio Jones. I don't know if Gonzalez is coming back. but And then Cam Newton and Smith and all them in Carolina. The first three preseason games are going to be out. We're going to see how good our defense is going to be for the year. But, uh, anyways, since the Baltimore Orioles are playing at home on September the 5th, the Ravens do not get to start the season off at home. I, why they're not doing it on Wednesday night, I do not know. But, anyways, we're playing uh, Denver, first game of the year, at Mile High. I'm going to say we're going to win this game, but the only reason why I'm saying that is because since Harbaugh's been here, we haven't lost the week one game. Whenever he has extra time to prepare for a game, we come out and we beast. So, that's if we were playing Denver in week two, I, I'd say no. Because for some reason, we always come out and win week one and then lose week two. But, and... and it, like last year, it took Peyton a little while to get heated up. He was doing horrible at the beginning of the season, but I just don't think he's going to have the same arm strength or any of that. But uh, Week two, we got the Cleveland Browns at M&T Bank. We're going to beat Cleveland. We, but don't be surprised if we lose because, like I said, for like the last four years, we've won the first game and lost the second game. So don't be surprised if we lose. Uh, home at Houston. Well, we're playing Houston at home. See, I just don't know about our defense, man. We need too much. Yes, we got Doomerville and all them good linemen, but we really didn't need linemen. We needed middle linebackers, free safeties, a cornerback, and a wide receiver, none of which we have gotten. I mean, and thank you. I am so glad we got rid of Ian Badejo. Yo, I hated that motherfucker. But, like, McLean, he's coming off a spinal cord injury. Uh, Josh Bynes, maybe. But, I mean, we, we need another middle linebacker. Um, Ahedabo, I think, will play strong safety. Yo, I like Ahedabo. He, he, he hits hard and everything. I just think he's a little bit too slow. He's a good run stuffer, but... See, I've never really play, seen him play strong safety that much. Why we got rid of Pollard, I'll never know. And Sean Considine, he's like five foot tall, so he ain't doing shit at free safety, so... Um... What is that? Week four, we're playing at Buffalo. Buffalo don't stand a chance. October the 6th, we're playing at Miami. Miami made some moves this offseason. I don't think they're going to win their division, but they're going to do better than they did this past year. But I still think we're going to beat Miami. Ah, uh, what week is this? One, two, three. 
Week six, we're playing Green Bay at M&T Bank Stadium, one o'clock. Again, depends on our defense. I'm, I don't think we're going to beat Green Bay, though. Number one, we don't have a number one receiver. I don't care what you say. Torrey Smith is not a number one receiver. He does not have good enough hands. Um, Jacoby Jones, not a number one receiver. Not good. His hands ain't good enough. And we got two great streak runners, but they don't do anything but that. And I, I Tandon Doss and the Juan Williams and none of them are going to be able to do a fraction of what Anquan Bolden could do as as a number one receiver. None of them are going to be drawing uh, double coverage. It's going to be ridiculous. So I will take Green Bay on that one. Um, I guess this is Week Eight at Pittsburgh. Yo, I really don't see Pittsburgh doing anything. They have lost too many players, and they still have a lot of old players on their defense. So I think after this year, Pittsburgh's going to have to seriously restructure. Um, week 9, we got the bye. Week 10 at Cleveland. We'll kill them. We always beat Cleveland at Cleveland. Our bye week is week 8, Cleveland's week 9, week 10 is Cincinnati at Baltimore. Andy Dalton and AJ Green, you know, they're going to be a they're going to be tough to deal with this year, I believe. But since we're playing at M&T Bank, I'm going to take the Ravens. Um, then we go on the road to Chicago. I don't see Chicago beating us. And then the Jets come to Baltimore. We got a four, a three day break in between playing the Jets and the fucking Steelers. Are you serious? Sunday, one o'clock, November 24th, we play the Jets at M&T Bank Stadium. Yo, this, shit's, this shit has to be wrong. Because this is Sunday, November 24th. Versus New York Jets, and then it says Sunday, November twenty eighth, versus Pittsburgh Steelers. That has to be a Thursday. So that's that's Thanksgiving. Yeah, so Thursday, November twenty eighth. I think we're gonna sweep the Steelers. I don't think we'll have a problem with the Jets. The Jets are done for like the next four years, anyways. They got too much money tied up in Dirty Sanchez and the rest of that fucking dysfunctional team. December 9th, we play the Vikings at M&T Bank. I don't know, yo. If Adrian Peterson is still going that late in the season, because, yo, he, he does get injured a lot. If he's going, it all, the Vikings all depend on what AP does. So, I'll, I'll leave that one alone. Uh, December 15th, we're playing at Detroit. I don't think Detroit's going to have shit for us. Plus, they start falling apart at the end of the season anyways. And week 16, we're playing at home versus the Patriots. That that game right there is probably going to be for the number one or the number three seed for the playoffs. And then, again, like, dude. Now, I swear to God, last year, we the last game in the regular season was against the Bengals. And even the year before that, I think, was the last game was against the Bengals. But anyways, the Bengals ain't got shit for us. So, yeah, I think we're going to lose like four games. 
four or five, depending on how good our defense does. But yeah, all right, I'm out. Fuck Martin O'Malley, you rain Texan, win Texan, fucking bitch. Fuck O'Malley. Stop voting for Democrats. They're robbing you fucking blind.